subscribe to Tech Me Spot channel and press the bell icon and never miss another update. Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Raspbian in VirtualBox on Windows 10 host, okay? So the requirements to do this, uh, we must have VirtualBox installed on Windows 10, okay? If you don't know how to do this, uh, there is a video link in the description of this video. You can go there and learn it and install this VirtualBox on Windows 10, okay? And the second you know, requirement is we need to have this ISO file of Raspbian operating system, okay? So in order to get the ISO file, uh, you need to go to their website that is raspberrypi.org okay so let me copy this okay so just open your web browser and guys uh, this link is also in the video description you can check it out okay so let me open my web browser uh, in this case it is chrome you can open any web browser okay and after that go to that address bar and just type this uh, raspberrypi.org and hit enter key on the keyboard and you can see guys this website is now opened and here we have the downloads link click on this scroll down and here we have this raspberry pi desktop okay for pc and mac and uh, this is the link click on this raspberry pi desktop this link okay and here we have this download iso file this link click on this and you can see guys i already downloaded this file okay so i don't need to download that okay if you don't have that just you know select your destination where you want to uh, save this iso file and then click on this save button okay so i'm cancelling this because i already downloaded this iso file okay so let me cancel that okay so now you have virtualbox installed on windows 10 and the iso file of raspbian operating system okay so just open your virtualbox okay and after that click on this new button and guys here we have the new window create virtual machine okay and we have to give the name and operating system so here we have the name so just give raspbian okay and here we have the machine folder you don't need to touch this okay and here we have the type click on this box and just click on this linux okay and here we have the version click on this box and just select ubuntu 32 bit okay so let me find this uh, ubuntu 32 bit so here we have this ubuntu 32 bit click on this and you can see it's now selected okay and guys you can also select this other linux 32 bit but uh, you know this ubuntu ubuntu 32 bit works great okay so i'm selecting that okay and after that click on this next button and here we have the memory size so the recommended memory size is 1024 megabytes uh, but I'm giving 2048 megabytes, okay? And after giving the memory size, just click on this next button, okay? And here we have the hard disk. So just select this, create a virtual hard disk now, okay? So the recommended size of the hard disk is 10 gigabytes, okay? So just uh, select this, create a virtual hard disk now, and then click on this create button, okay? And uh, just choose this VDI, virtual box disk image, and then click on this next button and just select this dynamically allocated and after that click on this next button okay and here we have the file location and size so here we have the file location so just leave this as default unless you have very good reason to change this okay and here we have the size so i'm giving 20 gigabytes okay you can give it any but the recommended size is 10 gigabytes okay but i'm giving 20 gigabytes okay and after that click on this create button and you can see guys here we have this virtual machine created and after that click on this start button so it's starting so just wait so just use your arrow keys to come to this option graphical install and after that hit enter key on the keyboard And you can see guys here we have the new window uh, configure the keyboard okay so it's you know this british english selected uh, but i'm selecting this american english okay and after that click on this continue button and it's processing just so just wait okay guys so here we have this uh, guided use entire disk okay so just like this option and then click on this continue button okay 
so just leave this as default and then click on this continue button and here we have the partition disks okay so just select this uh, all files in one partition are recommended for new users and after that click on this continue button okay and here we have this uh, finish partitioning and write changes to disk okay so just select this and then click on this continue button okay uh, write the changes to disks so just select, click on this uh, yes and then click on this continue and you can see it's installing the system so just wait And guys here we have the option install the grub bootloader to make the master boot record okay so just select this yes and then click on this continue button and here you need to select this second option and then click on this continue button and it's finishing the installation so just wait and you can see guys here we have the installation complete okay so just click on this continue button so it's booting up so just wait select the first option debian gnu linux and hit enter key on the keyboard so it's booting up so just wait and here we have the window oh, welcome to the raspberry pi desktop powered by debian okay so it's booting up so just wait okay guys so you can see it's now installed in virtualbox on windows 10 host okay you can see welcome to the raspberry pi desktop okay guys so that's it uh, in this way you can easily install raspbian in virtualbox on windows 10 host so thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye